We want to see first of all how the flames are. Okay. Now uh, you can see uh, we will put on the flames, and now you will see uh, they will they will they will burn concurrently, concurrently or simultaneously, so that we are able to compare, and then from there we can see which flame is hotter than the other. Okay. And of course, we also project on the frame colors. If you can capture, like this flame, it is shorter. That's the LPG flame, it's shorter, as you can see. You can look there. The biogas flame, the biogas flame is what? It's, uh, it's longer, the height. Like now you can see I can put it here, I can't feel it, but I cannot do the same with here because of that hotness. This one is more hotter. It's more hotter. That is heli PG versus the the, the, the the biogas. Remember this is the biogas flame. This is the LPG flames. Here the pressure. The pressure, you know, this cooker is high pressure. Okay, because it's using cylinder, you know, cylinder gas. But now <laughs> it is a converse. Look, it is the biogas which is producing high pressure. You can't hear that kind of pressure from here. Okay. Now then, now the next move, because now let's put it off because it's becoming hot here. It's really hot. Now the next the next stage is now to have um, one liter of water or two liter of water two liters of water of one we place it on uh, biogas and the other one we place it on uh, this this two liters one liter is this what lit what is the capacity here? 1.5 liters. So we have two sufriers. We want to, to see. We want to switch them on the at the same time. You know, and then see which one boils faster than the other. And uh, of course, I'll ask one of my um, my guys here to to put on the timer so that we we see uh, what boils at what. We want to compare so that we we are able. Uh, to see um, somebody who can be able to time and of course of course but of course you have to test you have to a test you are test a test like uh, can can you remove the lead eh? so that so that uh, the, the the camera uh, you know uh, you know captures that uh, this is this is cold water this is cold water can attest to that? It's just cold water. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is cold water. I can even catch it. This is cold water. Can you get the whole of that? Hold it like this. This is cold water. You see? This is cold actually. It is pretty cold. This could be like uh, tw twenty degrees Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius. Eh? So we we need. You can see we have started at exactly the same time. So we want to see how long it will take for the one and a half liters to start boiling using biogas and using LPG. Now, if you can see. The kind of flame. This is a kind of greenish flame. While it, the, the LPG flame is kind of greenish, right? While it is greenish, while the, the, the LPG flame is too blue. <laughs> you see? It is too blue. You can see what's happening there. So you can see the operation the way it goes. And you can hear 
The noise from the LPG is not almost there. There is no noise of that gas, you know, wanting to disappear. Okay. But here, the LP, no, no, the, the, the biogas one, the noise is quite too much, I can say, because of the high pressures. You see, in each case, we have put maximum, uh, you know, maximum pressures. Uh, we have put maximum pressures. Uh, that is, the gas volume is at the maximum, you know, points. So now we want to see um what which gas is the best when it comes to you know cooking in terms of uh, the energy value or what we say the calorific value in other words we are saying which gas is more hotter than the hotter. Is it LPG or biogas? So at the end of the exercise, we will be able to tell you which gas we are talking about uh, is hotter than the other. Already it has started boiling. Check here. No signs. The signs of boiling are so far. Check there. The biogas flame the biogas flame is hotter than the, the LPG flame. Check here the timing. I hope you timed like when it did start boiling at 10? 10, 10 seconds? 14. 14 seconds. Now it's 11. Pardon? It started at 14. It's going backwards. Now it's 11. Okay. Three minutes. It took three minutes to boil. It took three minutes to boil. While this one is still there, the signs are now coming up, but very at a slow pace. Can you see there? You can see the kind of uh, uh, you know uh, you know flame we are talking about. Biogas. The blue the flame, the hotter it is. And that is according to the laws of chemistry. You see? Biogas is hotter. Let's see how long this one takes to boil to that level. The one for LPG, how long it is taking to boil. Can you check, check that? The boiling is, is at a slow pace. Can check there that one of uh, of biogas. The boiling is now more vigorous. This one has also started now. It has now started. Did you mark that? The time was at what? This one started at ten. Mhm. Mm 10.40, this one. 10.40. But this one is 11. So this is 3 minutes. Mm -hmm. This is around 5 minutes. Um, LPG took 5 minutes for 1 and a half liters of water to start boiling vigorously. While the biogas, biogas flame took Three, you know, took three minutes for one and a half liters of water to start boiling. And remember, the kind of containers, the sufurias that we used, are of the same material. Can you see that? Look, they are of the same material. So those are some of the things which were kept constant. The sufuria volume, the sufuria, you know, material, and the volume of water were kept constant. The variables were the type of gases, biogas, 
and LPG competing in the time duration for one and a half liters of water to start boiling. And there we have, we have concluded that uh, biogas produces a hotter flame than LPG. Okay, we are talking about biogas taking three minutes and LPG taking a whooping five minutes. Free gas is the most hotter. Green, clean gas is the most hotter. A renewable gas is the most hotter than this LPG. Now, in conclusion, then is to encourage county governments to embrace biogas technology, embrace biogas farming in their counties. In this way, they will enhance sustainable livelihoods. They will enhance climate change mitigation measures. Let them not tell their inhabitants that they stop cutting down trees without giving alternatives. Let them give the clean energy way as an alternative by allowing trainings on the use of renewable energy, biogas, not, not firewood. I know firewood is renewable energy, but I'm talking about biogas. The raw materials, the feedstock of biogas is from west, whether cow dung, whether, you know, um, agricultural, you know, post harvest, west, whether kitchen, west, all those will go to what we term as, you know, production of biogas. But remember what we are saying. This is sustainable, it will enhance sustainable agriculture because from biogas we will get a complete organic fertilizer which will help produce, you know, and enhance production, agricultural production and nutritional values are usually high. Okay, so you are produce, you know, you are kind of uh, uh, bringing up uh, what we term as sustainable livelihoods in general in a nutshell so i hope this video will create impact to society in terms of embracing uh, green energy from west in terms of uh, embracing uh, climate mitigation measures in terms of embracing uh, sustainable agriculture in terms of embracing uh, you know or increasing you know, uh, climate mitigation measures and more so in terms of, uh, you know, greening our environment by avoiding to cut down trees but embracing uh, green energy, which is biogas. But one thing is for sure here, we run optimized biogas systems, optimized biogas technologies. It is not a normal biogas technology. Biogas technologies made in Kenya. That is what we. That is where we are. Made in Narok. That's where we are. 